Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Megalithic here, and today we're going to take a look at the Overflood Tyrant. Okie dokie, and what we think of the Overflood Tyrant? Raspberries, that's what we think of the Overflood Tyrant, ladies and gentlemen. But why don't we get to it anyway, you know, there's like no point in delaying any further. Let's just hop on over to the computers. Yes, we're going to pay absolutely no mind to my secretary, no matter how much she keeps babbling in the background. Okie okay, dokie, okay, right here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, as always, you head over to the maze bank offices, don't you know? We're going to take a sit on down this chair and log on to the computer. Now, the overflowed tyrant can be found under the... Uh, Legendary Motorsport website, don't you know, ladies and gentlemen, and there we go, logging on right now, and here we go, uh, not too far down, ladies and gentlemen, currently on sale for 1,760,000 or 80,000, is it 60,000, I do believe, uh, but uh, that's unfortunate, that's long past now, uh, Generally, we're retailing there for uh, two and a half billion. Let's be quite frank, two million uh, five hundred fifteen thousand. Let's be honest, that's two and a half billion. Okay, and we're going to send it to the uh, the Hillcrest residence, don't you know? And on this occasion, we'll be getting there in the Weenie uh, EC Classic. And I have absolutely no idea why all those people were screaming and whatnot. And whoops, it daisies, okey cokey, and right, okay, not the first time I've done that, I'm afraid. Okay, well, never mind, right? Oops, it is. Almost got in a swimming pool, right? How do I get out? Yes, this is how I get out. Okay, got stuck in there, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, not the first time that's happened. Rather embarrassing, though. Okay, Koki, right here we go. Not how I intended to arrive on foot, don't you know? But there we go. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Overflood Tyrant. Like I say, retailing there at $2,515,000. What do we think? It's an absolutely huge vehicle, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Very, very large, you know? Quite stylized. I mean, it's sort of got that futuristic styling of the of the Tesseract, don't you know? The Pegasi Tesseract, but not nearly as bad. I quite like it in a way. It's, uh, perhaps if they scaled it down somewhat, you know? It's not altogether that bad. Quite, quite like it, to be quite frank with you. Okay, then. Let's uh, take it on out and see how she handles. Right now, here we are. Okay, we're on the streets of Los Santos, ladies and gentlemen. It's sort of daylight and dry weather, so ideal conditions, really. Okie dokie, and here we go. Right, okay, we're heading down. Right, hit someone straight away. That's rather a shame, don't you know? Okay, so what do we think? Well, it's gripping the road quite nicely. It's very twitchy, to be quite frank with you. It's got a stranger, a strange kind of handling, this car. You know, it seems to be gripping the ground. doesn't want to come away. It feels very, very planted, but, uh... It, and the, the steering sharp but limited. Like I said, it feels quite twitchy, to be quite frank with you. It's hard to describe. Okie dokie, we're getting some speed up down there. See how it handles this corner. And not too badly. Okay, right there we go. Jolly good, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we think? Well, it's an overflow, you know. So it's always the same story with the overflows. They feel like fantastic cars until you start... Uh, start putting them up against other vehicles and unfortunately that's the luxury we don't really have in this video so okay here we go weaving now as you can see I'm doing some deliberate weaving there and the back end didn't really want to come away on me so that's quite nice like I say it is quite planted okay now here we go uh, we're heading down the maze bank offices don't you know ladies and gentlemen we'll take it on inside why don't we want to take into the custom auto shop and perform the necessary upgrades okay cookie well here we are then right we're inside now of course as always ladies and gentlemen during this stage of the video we are going to uh, run things at double uh, double time just so we can speed things along somewhat okay how about that two-tone color i didn't realize that no i i think i end up keeping it in a uh or was it just a hood, maybe? I wasn't really paying full attention. I should be, yeah, more likely just a hood, I should think, actually. Now I think about it, doubtful. I would have gone on to the colors that early. Right, okay, Koki, here we go. Looking at the spoilers and such forth. This is just to give you an idea. Like I said, we are running at double time. Just to give you an idea of what this, uh, the sort of uh, modifications that this car can have. Of course, the standard upgrades are always the same. The armor and the, uh, engine and such for the transmission and the turbos but they're always required of course to get the most out of any given vehicle right okay secondary color there doesn't seem to be affecting a great deal just the springs as far as i can make out and let's be quite frank who gives a damn right okay here we go primary color okay so it is just a single block color that really is rather a shame ladies and gentlemen okay there we go right i'm just gonna cycle through now i do believe my uh my other over floods, don't you know, are in rather sort of bright colours. It doesn't look too bad in a black, you know, but like I say, I've got a... My other over floods are in sort of... It's a supercar, you know, I want to put them in sort of 
bright pantomime colors, you know, to shout, look at me, that kind of thing. I've got the sort of money to throw away on stupid vehicles. That's the kind of statement you want to be making with your life. So, yes, I want to put them in bright colors, you know, and that sort of thing, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what to go for, you know. Right, okay, maybe that's sea green. That's not particularly bright, though, is it, to be honest? I do quite like it, though, to be quite frank with you. Right, lime green's a bit shocking there, wasn't it? Right, okay, now I think we're just going to go for something like that. Okay, we'll keep it in the, in the color that it came in, I believe, on this occasion. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, then, let's uh, take it out onto the street now. It's had its upgrades and uh, see how she handles. Okay, and the sun is setting in Los Santos. Right, okay, we're heading up the hill, skipping ahead there. I hope that doesn't set the precedent for this video. You know, business battle going on. So there we go, we came out, purchased this after the... Uh, I, after I was DLC, apparently. Right, okie Kirky. so maybe we get the full WAP then in that case. Right, okie Kirky. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, can't really complain, you know. Uh, why don't I say Raspberries to the Tyrant? I'll tell you why I say Raspberries to the Tyrant, because any time we put it rather tracking against anything, it always loses. Uh, it's not a particularly good car, you know, it doesn't feel that way. I mean, it's bloody expensive for the money, you know. Well, it is going like a rocket right now. I mean, these overflots are all pretty much the same, ladies and gentlemen. They feel very fast, they've got very interesting handling. Uh, like I say, sharp but limited. It sort of wants to come back on you in a way. It's strange, hard to describe, really. Uh, but like I say, it's... Uh it's an overflot, and they always do the same thing. They thoroughly disappoint on the track, don't you know? But as you can see around the streets, perfectly serviceable vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. Just should you buy it? If you have two and a half million, you should get your head looking at it. Like, say to you again, ladies and gentlemen, it's absolute raspberries to this vehicle. I really don't care for it. Okie dokie, only purchased it to put it in my collection. Now, uh, it's not particularly fair or sort of chivalrous to do this, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, we've only got one video of the uh, Tyrant in action, as it turns out, and that's against the GTO. Ha, ha, ha. So, okay, let's watch it get humiliated, then. Right, unfortunately, the GTO is a uh, gopping of vehicle as it is, and as awful handling as it is, uh, it is an absolute monster on the track. It truly is a beast, and there we go, there it goes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so what, it's two million, I believe, for the GTO, two and a half million for the, uh, for the, uh, tyrant there. And can you see that little speck in the distance? Yes, that's the half a million dollars that you spent. Right, it's rather embarrassing, isn't it? Okay, are we going to catch it? There's not a chance in hell we're going to catch it, no. But having said that, the GTO is rather an unfair car to test it against. Like I say, uh, we're going to be going to have much footage there. But anyway, I do uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching.